Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. I'm so excited because I'm going to be playing with color today. We have a full glam, super glowy, colorful makeup look. I wanted to really amp up the glow on this look, so I did a really pretty um, centered halo kind of glow on the eye. Super wet, glowy, beaming highlight and really glossy lips. So super glowy. How many times can I say glowy? And then a really colorful like rainbow eye. So two things that inspired me. Two, not four. Two things that inspired me, um, I came across this uh, YouTube tutorial by Holly Boone and oh my god, she was playing with a bunch of colors on her eyes and I decided, you know what, I need to try new techniques and new colors. I've played with colors before, I mean you guys have seen that, but I've never just done only colors on the eyes. I've always added some sort of neutrals or I've always worked with like one or two colors. In this look today, I played with pink, yellow, blue, purple. There's just so many different colors on the eyes and there's no neutrals at all, which is really different for me. I feel like I did pretty good for my first time playing with colors. So I'm really proud of myself for like kind of stepping outside my comfort zone. But like I said, I was inspired by that. And I was also inspired by the new James Charles palette, which I couldn't use in today's video. And I was really bummed out by I just haven't received it in the mail yet. But that palette really inspired me to kind of like just pull out my inner colorful artist and just try something new. So I hope you guys get inspired by this video and love it and enjoy it. If you kind of want to see how I did this really colorful eye but also just super glowy glam makeup look, then make sure to keep on watching. So to get started, I am going to use a primer. Of course, I'm taking the Huda Beauty, what is this called? This is like my favorite and I don't even know what it's called. Complexion Perfection, yes. To set that, I'm going to use one of my favorite bronzer palettes. I always feel bad using this because um, it's really hard to find. I can't link it for you guys. But it is the Pro Artist Bronzer Palette by Style Essentials. And I actually picked this up at Winners. So if you have a Winners, Home Goods, Home Sense, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, like those type of stores, um, check the makeup session, section. This bronzer palette is so good. 
So I actually think I'm probably gonna take this shade today. Powder that down a little. I'm not gonna add too much. Usually just add some bronzer all over. So I'm actually gonna add a little bit of blush. I'm gonna take this Morphe palette. This is the Morphe 8W. It's a really pretty blush palette. Um, I think I'm gonna take this one right here. It's a little deeper, a little bit more rusty than this kind of nude one. So I'm gonna take this one. Just a little bit. Also, sorry if you guys kind of noticed I'm a little low energy in today's video. I just have so much going on in my life right now. Not negative things, actually really positive, like unexpected, positive happy things but like it's a lot <laughs> like a lot to like do at once so i'm just like really busy and my mind has like so much on it but again they're positive things nothing like crazy i just have so much on my mind so it like sucks up all my energy but um let's do some highlight that'll bring some some bam back into this <laughs> um this one right here is the annie or annie cosmetics liquid highlight you guys know favorite right here. So I am going to put some of that on the beauty blender, rub it around, and then apply it like that. Ooh, it just always makes me happy. See, it brings the energy up. And what I love about this stuff is you literally only need a tiny, tiny bit because it little goes a really long way. So for highlight, I'm going to use the beautiful Pixie by Petra. This is the shade Delicate Dew. This is beautiful, you guys. Actually, one of my favorites lately, I tried this in a, um, I think I did a video where I was like trying new makeup or something like that, or something, I don't know. Um, and you guys saw my first impression on it. I loved it, like such a beautiful highlight. It's so wet. Like, look at how wet that highlight. Like, I don't want the highlight if it doesn't look this beaming. Like, I need it to look wet. So it looks wet on its own, but then in combination with that um, uh, liquid highlight, super wet. How many times can I say wet? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and pop back on because that shit takes forever. Okay, so now that my brows are done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes. I did just prime and set them. So for the eyes today, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front, you guys. I'm a little nervous, I'm a little nervous. I'm hoping it turns out good because today I'm gonna be playing with color. And it's not like I've never played with color before, I have, but it's normally like in combinations with neutrals or like just lots of you know what I'm saying? Just not a full on rainbow. And I'm gonna do full on rainbow today. I feel like it's gonna be fun. And I wanna do a nude lip with it because I just feel like rainbow eye, nude lip, it's gonna look dope. But what really inspired me was Holly Boone or Holly Boom? I'm gonna look right now. Okay, so Holly Boone on YouTube, I came across this video and I was just like obsessed with the eye that she did. She just used so many colorful shades and it just looks so dope. So it kind of inspired me to play with color. I honestly really wanted to use the James Charles Inner Artist and Morphe palette, but I haven't received it in the mail yet. I've been kind of like waiting. Um, Canada Post is on strike, so like I'm receiving my mail super late. I haven't received it yet, which really sucks, but it's okay. I'm gonna use this Morphe palette. This is the 35C. Um, figured I can use this and I get to finally use my Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. There's so many amazing colors in here, but I don't know what colors I'm going for. Should I do, I don't think I'm feeling oranges. I think I'm feeling like purples, yes. Purple, blue, and pink. Purple, blue, pink, I feel like I'm gonna go for today. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna use a lot of inspiration in terms of technique from Holly Boone's video because the techniques are very different from me. Like normally I'll start with a transition color and then do the dramatics. Um, but with her, and she was saying she used Nikki Tutorials techniques, it's like put on, pack on the color first and then do the blending with transitions after. It's just totally, this is just totally different than anything I've done. Um, so I can either use the port, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. I think I'm.
Whatever shade I add in the center, I could bring it up so that it really shows. Or I don't know if I kind of want to keep it a little low so that it kind of just has like a very rainbow vibe. I feel like if I bring the center higher, it's going to cut in the middle of everything. I don't know. But I mean, I feel like I could do either. It just kind of depends what I want to go for. And I don't know if I want to stick with the blue because I feel like it just looks so dope. Or if I want to add another color now. Maybe I'll add another color. Like, why stop now, you know? Yeah, I really loved adding the bits of yellow at the top because it really um, created almost like an orange. So it just kind of looks like you have purple, pink, orange, yellow, and blue. So it just looks really dope. I feel like I'm not doing so bad for my first time playing with like this many colors. Normally, I mean, I've played with color before, but it's like one or two and then some neutrals. I feel like this isn't bad for my first time. Any color that you feel like might have disappeared, you can add a little bit back in. Like I'm just adding a little bit more of the pink. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I have two different options. For the center, I can either, I wanna do a shimmery center, so I can either use this beautiful teal, um, so I can keep it blue, kinda keep it how it is, or I could switch shit up and use a beautiful pink in the center. So I could use this really pretty wet and wild liquid shadow in the center and do pink. And maybe even add a little bit of this duochrome in the center. I feel like that'll be fun. I feel like this would look good if I kept it blue, but it would just be a little, ba not basic, but like, you know, I feel like it'll switch things up if I add the pink. So let's just go ahead and do it and not think twice. Um, on
you enjoyed. I honestly had so much fun. I'm really, really proud of myself for stepping outside of the box, trying a new technique of like packing on the color, then blending it out and just using so many shades all at once. Um, I don't feel like it's like the best colorful eye ever. I'm definitely going to need to improve my skills a little bit um, in terms of playing with color, but I feel like I did a pretty good job. Except for the lips, the lip gloss on my teeth. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it inspires you to play with color. It's just super fun. Like when I saw that um, video by Holly, I was like super duper inspired to just like play with a bunch of colors and do a really pretty glossy nude lip. So hopefully I inspire you too. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.